The Champions League is back! Last week I already dropped the UCL Fantasy for the round of 16 and now it is time for predictions. We have 8 games and they're pretty much all thrillers. For the round of 16 there's also been a change in rules which I think makes this whole prediction game even more interesting. And since I'm already wearing the Champions League winner's jersey and my lucky beanie, I think without further ado, let's go. This is my ranking in our FB Army Prediction League after the group stages. Match day 6 did me kinda dirty. I was really close to the top spots there but now I dropped down to only 201st out of 800 11 members in our league. If you still want to join, go ahead. First link in the description is totally free. Just one rule, do me a favor and be worse than me, please. Okay, because I want to get the top 100 in my own league. Okay, I do this joke every single time and it's not getting funnier. Let's start with the predictions. Alrighty, round of 16. Now you see there is something different. Here we simply predict the scores like it always used to be, but now, below that, for the knockout stages, UEFA added the feature that you can predict the first team to score and also the first player to score. If you get the first team to score right, that gives you one bonus bonus point and if you get the first player to score right that's even two bonus points for you love to see this i think it adds a little more spice even to this game that is already intense when you look at these fixtures it's gonna be tasty guys we're starting this with possibly the best game on paper paris saint germain against real madrid in my initial ucl prediction i said real madrid will advance and i still think that is the case but will they also win in paris i don't know about that you know what i'm going 2-2 in this game i don't know it's not among the most popular predictions which is also a plus if it happens gets more points. But I'm very certain that PSG will score, probably two at home. Most people really think PSG will win 2-1. This is also very, very likely. But I really think Real Madrid can keep up with that, even at the Parc de Princes. First team to score is gonna be PSG for me, though. It could be a revival of 2018, where PSG also scored the first goal, but then Real Madrid came back. This time, I can really imagine Mbappé, maybe even Messi, I don't know. And he's also good in the Champions League. Scoring the first? Why does Messi have a green circle here? Does that mean anything? I don't know. Or is that new transfers? Oh yeah, that is new transfers. I don't know why they're green. Anyway, I'm gonna go, not for Messi, I'm gonna go, bah, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna go Mbappé. In this prediction, it also doesn't count if it's popular or not. You always get two points when it's correct, so I'm obviously gonna pick the most likely, and that for me is Kylian Mbappé. The double booster, I'm gonna decide where to use that after I predicted all the games. First of all, it's time for Sporting against Manchester City. Wow, this should be one of the clearest fixtures. Popular predictions are 0-3, 1-3 or 0-2 for Manchester City, despite the fact that they play in Portugal. I also think that City will win this, to be quite honest with you. I do have Joao Cancelo and Riyad Mahrez in my fantasy team, so that obviously implies that I think City will get goals. I think 1-3 is really the most likely score here. I already said this in the fantasy video, I'm not underrating Sporting at all, it's just that they don't have a great defense. They scored 14 goals in the group stages, but they also conceded 12, so there is no way that they're gonna keep a clean sheet here. I do think City will score 3. I was thinking either 3-1 or 4-1, but I think 4-1 would be a little disrespectful to Sporting, considering they're still at home. They're not gonna get thrashed like that. I mean, who knows? Ajax did the same thing to them, but I think they're gonna be a little more focused in such an important game. Three goals for City should be enough, and then the first team to score, I'm also gonna go for Man City, to be honest with you. It's weird that even though I went for Man City to be the first team scoring, I can still select Sporting players here. Fix your app, UEFA. I'm going to go for the man without a picture. No. I'm gonna go for Riyad Mahrez, actually. Yeah, I have him on the fantasy, so that obviously means I'm trusting in him, so why not go for him as the first scorer. He does turn up a lot in UCL knockout stages. That's also a part of why I picked him. I think that should be a solid call. And the next one is a little more complicated. Inter at San Siro against Jurgen Klopp's Reds Liverpool. The popular predictions are all in Liverpool's favor. I agree. I think Liverpool will win this, but it's going to be close. I don't expect a ton of goals in this one. Yeah, 1-2 one, is likely, but you can't always go with the popular predictions. I'm gonna go Inter. They won't score, in my opinion. I'm gonna go 1-0 Liverpool. Like a really, really close game. Very, very big fight. And then I could imagine towards the end, it's gonna be Mo Salah potentially, or Liverpool at least, to score. In, but not that early in the game. I could really imagine a late goal here. The scenes of I jinx it once again, and Mo Salah goes on to set a new UCL record, scoring after three seconds. And then first team to score, I'm actually gonna go for Inter. Now, how does that make sense, guys? Fix your logic UEFA. I'm obviously going to go for Liverpool if I say 1-0. And then the first player to score, I'm just going to be coherent and say Mo Salah is going to be the one to score as well. I mean, he has the highest chance of scoring for Liverpool, surely. And I'm going to go for him then as well. 1-0 Liverpool at San Siro, a score that I would like personally. You remember my vlog at San Siro? I was very, very much fuming and hoping Liverpool go there and win. <laughs> and I also think it's going to happen. And that already takes us to the last game of Wednesday, Salzburg against Bayern. In Austria, the popular predictions are very, very 
much in Bayern's favor. Probably deservedly so. They're missing Neuer, by the way. Neuer is injured. So um, also an update on the fantasy. You guys can go for Sven Ulreich, by the way. I just did that because he's so cheap and he's going to play in this game. The second goalie of Bayern, who is absolutely shambolic, in my opinion, did horrible when he was at Hamburg. But just an info, he's going to play for Bayern. Does that mean that I think Bayern will concede more than I originally thought? Actually, maybe. I mean, I'm not going to go for the two most popular predictions saying clean sheet for Bayern. I think Salzburg, they're going to score one. They're going to score one at least. Yeah, do I expect four or three goals? <sighs> it could be four. It could very well be four. Nah, nah, I'm going three. I'm going three, one Bayern then. And for first player to score, could I be unpopular and go for Adeyemi maybe? Salzburg scoring first? I'm not sure if I want to do that because it's obviously more likely or based on the odds that it's going to be Lewandowski or Zane. Do I want to be different or do I want to be logical? I'm going to be different later, but here I'm staying logical and I'm going first player to score. The man, the myth, the legend. Thomas Müller. Yeah, I'm going to go Thomas Müller. I'm not going to go full mainstream. And this voice crack just told me, go for Thomas Müller. It's going to be worth it. And that is it already for the first week of UCL round of 16. The second week of the round of 16, it starts with Villarreal against Juventus. A game where I might have an unpopular prediction. You know, I said in the beginning, this is the UCL winner's jersey. Juventus winning the Champions League. I was joking, by the way. I do not think that is going to happen anytime soon. At least not this season. I wish, but I just can't see it. Against Villarreal... You know, in my initial prediction, I said Juventus are going to get knocked out. Now, after this great transfer window for the Bianconeri, this might have changed. But in Spain, I still think that Villarreal will win. Like, don't get me wrong, Juventus are in a great form now. Many people still don't see this. They are in a great form. But I just have kind of a gut feeling that this is going to be a dirty, very, very dirty game. Juventus are probably going to have more possession and possibly also more chances. But, but just like our opponents in the previous years, Villarreal are going to be so dirty to play, very, very smart. And they're going to be so, so difficult to break down in their area and I can't see them then scoring and winning this game. Now it's just difficult. Who will score for Villarreal? I did have Dan Juma on my list and also in my fantasy team. The thing with him is though, since match day 6 of the group stages, he hasn't played in the league really. I don't know why he just can't get game time. Apparently he has an ankle injury and if that's still the case, I will certainly replace him in my UCL fantasy team and I won't choose him here to be the first player to score. I'm gonna go for a different man who's also on fire for Villarreal and who should actually be the most obvious option over Dan Juma even, Gerard Moreno. He's gonna be the one to score against Juventus and break my heart in the first game. I really hope he plays because he's also been quite inconsistent with injuries this season, but in case he does then I'm gonna go for him. As I'm considering this again now, he is more likely to score than Dan Juma in the first place, even if both play. So Gerard Moreno is my option, my guy here. A 1-0 is also not among the most popular. So if that happens and Juventus lose, at least I have something to fall back on. Okay, game numero 6, numero 6 is Chelsea against Lille. And there the predictions are also all in Chelsea's favor. I mean, they're playing at home at the bridge and I, you know, I'm doubling down on Chelsea defense in my fantasy team. So this is the game where I'm really most convinced of a clean sheet for the home team. I, I do think it's going to happen. I just don't know if Chelsea will score these many goals. I don't see a 3-0 happening. 2-0 is also a little optimistic in my opinion. It's not impossible, but I think a classic 1-0 is way more realistic. Lille are nobodies. They're still the French champions and I've made my mistake to underrate them at the start of the season where I put them last in the group. I'm not going to make the same mistake again and I'm really, really wondering wondering why that's not among the most popular predictions. Ah, this is tough now. Chelsea is tough because you don't know. Is Lukaku going to play? He's, he's in a horrible form as well. Is this man going to score? He's not that bad in the Champions League. Already scored two goals and gave an assist against Zenit, which was great. But there again, he only really played 90 minutes because it was a rotational game. Is he going to play in such an important game? Which is really sad for Werner, by the way. He was such a big signing and he's not even guaranteed to play the big games. You know what? Because I'm not certain what attack to hold will line up, I'm going to go for a man that is guaranteed to play and that is on penalties. Jorginho is my man to score. 1-0 Chelsea at the bridge and Jorginho being the scorer possibly by a penalty. Next one. Okay. Atletico Madrid against Manchester United. A game that is probably among the closest as proven by the fact that the popular predictions include both United wins, Atletico wins and even draws. All of them. Well, I'm actually pretty confident about this one and my prediction is not among those four. Uh, let me think about it and pull off some magic here. Okay, I've come to the conclusion that it is time for Cristiano Ronaldo action against Diego Simeone. I'm going 1-0 Manchester United, actually. Yes. Yeah, the Champions League, Ronaldo, you know what that means. And I think Ronaldo, while I'm recording this, he hasn't scored in 2022 yet. Not Ronaldo-like, even though he's 37, it is about time and he's going to be scoring in this game. So United away win at Atletico with Cristiano Ronaldo scoring the winner. This kind of reminds me of last season where Chelsea were facing Atletico at their own stadium. Also in the round of 16, you 
remember, they were also in a bad form prior to this game. Tuchel just came in, a new German manager. The same thing is happening with Man United right now. And there, everyone said Atletico would beat them. I said Chelsea, and that was right. Now, not everyone is saying Atletico will win, but it's kind of close. I say United. And then already the last game of the round of 16, Benfica against Ajax. The Portuguese giants, as you know, advanced over Barcelona. This was already a huge achievement, but Ajax, what they pulled off this Champions League season, simply incredible. I do think they go into this as the favorites of the whole tie, but people are also really confident that they're going to win in Portugal. 3-1, 2-1, 2-0. I don't know about this one, to be honest. In Portugal, Benfica aren't in the greatest form right now. Don't get me wrong, I could see Ajax winning, but not by two goals. Not by... No, 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 no. Not by two. In fact, I'm even going for a draw. 2-2 two, two in Lisbon. Benfica... I don't know. I kind of rate them higher in the Champions League than most people. Ajax, obviously, in case nothing crazy happens in this game, that they will win then at home. But Benfica, they're not going to lose at home. And the first player to score then, oh, this is tough. Is it going to be one of the usual Ajax guys, Anthony, or where is he? Alea, the top scorer of the UCL so far? Or is it a Benfica guy? Maybe they're scoring the first at home. Difficult. Rafa Silva could be an option. Everton was there. Zeferovic, ah, he misses too many chances for me. Tadic, oh man, there's so many options here. Maybe Yarem from Benfica. Oh, this is good, maybe. I'm gonna go for Yaremchuk. I've made some unpopular predictions, I think. Let's look at all of them again. And we still have to play our double booster somewhere. Salzburg Bayern could be an option for the booster as well as Sporting Man City. And then on Wednesday, Villarreal, Juventus, Atletico Man United, Benfica, Ajax. A little bit too risky for me. The only safe game. Nothing is safe in the UCL, but the safest game should be Chelsea Lille. But now nah, the booster is still gonna be used on Tuesday for me. And it's really between those two. I'm going to go for Sporting Man City. This is my booster game. Yeah, 1-3 for Man City. City. I don't know if it also doubles the first team to score and first player to score, but if it does, I'm super, super confident with that as well. Mares should be good. I really think he will score there. That was it. My predictions for the first leg of the UCL round of 16. So glad it's back. UCL fantasy is there. UCL predictions is there. Top class games are there. As always, let me know in the comments what you think of my predictions and what are your predictions if you want to reveal them to the public. And of course, don't forget to enter them in our league. If you still want to join, once again, first link in the description. Let's see what crazy scores we get next week and we will see each other back for the second leg. Up until then, Prediction Fiago is out. Enjoy the football and peace.